Hey there folks and friends, Connecting Dots here. Okay, so follow up here with the Sikh Temple shooting. Uh, if you haven't seen that video, I'll leave a link down below in the description box. Um, I came across this interesting thread here on GLP. Uh, before I get into that, I'm going to follow up here with what mainstream media is telling us about this whole thing. So now they've nailed it down to a single shooter, and I'll prove here with the follow video, the following videos how it's not true, it's all connected to a UFO movie, and oh boy, oh boy, if you haven't seen a UFO, or alternative energies, never heard any of those. There's a lot of stuff here, folks. Okay, so uh, this all started back in 1992. As you can see here, uh, Page enlisted in the Army in April 1992. He was given a less than honorable discharge in October 1998. He was uh, last stationed in Fort Bragg, uh, North Carolina, serving in a psychological operations unit. Hmm, interesting, isn't it, eh? Okay, continuing on here with this whole single shooter theory, BS. You'll hear this video, nine minutes into it, pay attention to the timer, nine minutes into it, this guy here says, four shooters. So it's around 10, 10.30, and usually goes in the afternoon, and around 10, between 10 and 10.30, four uh, white males who were dressed darkly, uh, dressed in all black clothing, came in and open fired on the uh, on our congregation. And uh, from what I'm told, about 20 to 25 people have been hit. Okay, so you heard four men dressed in black. Okay, continue on. I got a lot more stories here, and they're all from uh, different sources that uh, you all know very well. This fellow here, and I'll get back to this. This is all very interesting, folks, how this UFO, this latest movie coming out, it's all intermingled along with uh, the other connections I showed in the first page. My dad is out at the hospital, um, and we're just relaying information back and forth. I'm trying to get as much info uh, as possible. What any have you uh, learned from him about what transpired inside or from your mother? So the most I can learn, or the most I know as of now, is that there are multiple sh shooters. There's multiple people. Uh, it was a, a very well-coordinated thing. It wasn't uh, haphazard. Uh, and I think that's why uh, police and everybody are taking uh, the proper you know, pro protocol to get the situation under control. Not so you heard again, multiple shooters, and that's why the police were taking their time going in there with their big squad. And yeah, okay, so continuing on, again, this is another person. That some people went, I don't know how many, some people went inside, unidentified people went inside the people church, and they did a bunch of shooting, and like we were having a, like a holy ceremony was going on right now, and the shooting just went like that, and I can't even talk, and I then... Yeah, I, 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 she's shocked. Okay, so again here from uh, Fox News, uh, this is a long clip. I'll leave all of these uh, links, all these videos are down below in the description tab where it says show more, just click on there, you can see them. Okay, folks, I'm just playing the little short versions of them. Yeah, Ted, um, we're just hearing from this man again that he spoke with the people who had been evacuated. He said they were in there at the time. A SWAT team did shoot a man who was believed to be the shooter, and two others were believed to be shooters with him. We do not know what happened with them, where they might be, but that is what he is being told by those people who have been evacuated. And we also are told he was saying that the person or persons were not members of this Sikh temple. They look to be outsiders. We do not know why they targeted this particular place. Okay, and I'm going to follow through here with uh, one more, I believe, or maybe two more witnesses or accounts from uh, known uh, news services. And then I'm going to connect here the UFO and why uh, the president himself was shot. And yeah, it's interesting, folks. And I'll get back to that original story, how they're all connected, all these shootings. But here, continue on here a little bit more from CNN. Well, 15 minutes ago, I should say, we spoke to the president of the Sikh Religious Society of Wisconsin, who had been alerted to what has taken place. He told us that at about 10.30 central time in the United States, that is about uh, nearly two hours ago, uh, multiple gunmen entered the temple and shot people. Uh, he believed the numbers were anywhere between six and 12 people and possibly as high as 20, but we must- So there you go. You heard again, multiple, 
multiple. And again, this same witness here, just a little clip again from him. What else did he tell you? Did he describe anything else that was going on at that moment? At that time, he did say that they're multiple shooters and that they are uh, Caucasian descent. Okay. So we got that pretty well figured out. If not, one more. Man who said his father had been wounded reported that there had been multiple gunmen. Others who were inside the building at the time of the attack described it as a very coordinated thing. The White House has... Okay, so there you go, coordinated again. Now, what's mainstream? There, it's back to the one single guy and uh, while well, they're playing the racist card here. Yeah, skinhead tattoos, uh, leader of a skinhead band. Okay, so I'll leave a link here to that video talked about that prediction of the mass shooting. Um, you know, I had all kinds of different comments on that video. If you haven't seen it yet, go see it. It's down below in the de description box or on my YouTube channel. Okay, so I went back to this guy's fellow, and unfortunately, uh, yeah, that's what it says on his YouTube channel. Subscribe to see boobs. But again, the join date, the last time he has activity is again still the 4th, okay? He has not been back to his YouTube channel since two days ago when he uploaded that video, Text and Drive. Okay, I'm not going to play that video again, it's rather boring, but those of you that follow my videos, you know how I showed his other video and now it's been removed. The one where he had the mass uh, shooting, the, the prediction there that was uploaded July 7th, that's right, July 7th, he uploaded a video 15, 11 seconds long and it's already been taken off by YouTube, yet this guy hasn't been on. There was nothing on there, there was no spam, there was no scam, there was no commercially deceptive content. It's all BS. Okay, I've got to continue on here to connect the dots. If you haven't seen Dr. Greer, if you haven't seen a UFO, it's unfortunate for you. I've seen two myself. There's no doubt about it. After telling my grandmother, she actually came forward and she says, well, I want to tell you a little story, Sonny boy. Turns out your aunt and uncle both seen uh, a UFO one day when they were down. Uh, young, young kids playing in the fairgrounds. I didn't believe them, but now I think it's true. And I hope so do you. I've sh I posted on my website, connectingdots1.com. I posted a link there of a story of a recent survey in USA, 76% of Americans believe in extraterrestrials. So Dr. Greer here was putting a movie out called Sirius, and guess who is your filmmaker? The producer is right there. It's his father that was shot. Yeah, interesting. So I'm gonna play a little bit of Sirius here, then I'll get back to the connection of all of these shootings. Not only are we not alone, but that for a hundred years, the advanced sciences and technologies dating back to the time of Tesla, Faraday, T. Townsend Brown, and others have had technologies that would liberate the world from the slavery of our current macroeconomic system. We were impressed when we came upon Dr. Greer and his brilliant team. They've been working on groundbreaking ideas over the past decade and pushing a truth that not many people either know about or are scared to discuss. So we thought to ourselves, this is a ripe topic to document and expose in a film. After contacting Dr. Greer, we found out he had bigger and better plans. Okay, so there's that connection. Dr. Greer is about to release a movie on UFOs and alternative energies. Uh, those of you that remember me from blogging way back in the forum, you, uh, Super Earther, and uh, oh, there's a few of you. Uh, Tundra 2012, you must remember me talking about in that forum too, how back when I was uh, 16 years old, I come up with this concept of uh, creating... Um, uh, power from electrical engines and instead of uh, using all the copper wire to create electromagnetics uh, we could just use uh, regular magnets to create that thing so the, I passed that story on in my electrical course I was taking a two-year program back when I was a teen uh, to become an electrical engineer and uh, thrown out at my teacher and he was blown away with the whole concept this is basically some of the stuff that Dr. John, uh, Stephen Greer is talking about uh, the UFO thing uh, like I said my own personal experience I can only tell you what I've seen there's definitely something out there I didn't see the, the, the extraterrestrials themselves I've seen the UFO um, ships whatever you want to call it way the heck up in the air over 30 45 thousand feet up anyways 
Back to the shooting, I don't want to, this is not about the UFOs and I don't want to get too much off the uh, topic here because I don't have much time. It's about the whole connection of these shootings. Interesting stuff here. I'll leave a link, but I'll basically go over the whole thing. Uh, I, I mean, some of the key points here and that's what it is. The key points, okay? Uh, you can read them yourself here. Hit the space bar if you want to pause it. Firearms, James Paris, uh, 4 12, 12, 12, 12 years veteran, 53, 35, Arsenal in apartment, shot police officer, F FBI, DEA, ATF, National Televised Event, Firearms, Body Armor, Gas Mask, Gas Grenades, Body Trap Residence, Eviction Process Ongoing, Lone Shooter, Apartment Burnt Down and Massive Fire. And regard that's all regarding this incident here, okay? Uh, I don't really remember that one, but if you live in the U.S., that's the whole thing here. He, that you know he's pulled out the key words now it's interesting because all of these shootings thereafter all share the same key words or darn near and that's that's talk about connecting dots again here we go again here's the key words like i said if, if you don't want to read watch my video the links are down below you can go read this thread yourself but it's again darn near the same thing again um continuing on here okay um paris i'm alita GLP, okay, is on Home Street. This is fellow here, this uh, Wade fellow, okay. There he is right there. They've gone to his home. Turns out his home is on Home Street. What a coincidence. I can't believe it. Anyways, folks, I hope this helped you connect some dots. And uh, as I would mentioned before, I've got my website there. So if there's any information that I'm finding as I go along, I make sure that I post it on my website. Uh, you folks want to join up great if not that's up to you but at least you can keep track of what i'm doing here and uh post some information if you come across anything juicy yourself okay take take care ciao spread the news